Rockies, maroon and orange the last two years, but transferred to South Bend this past offseason. And after competing with Kenny Brooks and the Hokies the past two years, now she is with Notre Dame, and she's down two zip quickly. Dara Mabry was a star for this Hokies team. And now her first game back inside the castle, and she ties the game. Just over a month ago, on the offensive glass, it's the freshman West Belt, and when things are going well, you get that kind of a bounce. Well, we talked earlier about how Coach Brooks said that the four position needs to do better for Virginia Tech. In every Virginia Tech practice and shoot around from January on, as Shepard rises up. Something going on with these rims right now from outside. <laughs> but the put back up and in for Baines. Virginia Tech on the offensive glass. Shepard misses that one, and Baines in great position for the putback. Mabry draws contact, puts it in, plus one. It's a crossover, gets inside, and with the contact, I mean, you've got to know there's emotion. I think more so in that first game that they played, and of course, this was her original home court, so I know she's thinking about it, but I love already that she has been so steady. As you mentioned earlier, this is not a team that puts up uh, too many shots, I don't think, and so to see Dara put up some shots early is pretty great, and how about Amor picking up where she left off in that first meeting between these two teams. Just struggle to find the bottom of the basket right now. Same story at this end, though, for Notre Dame. That's a good look. Yeah. There were just three of 15, 20% before that West Bell lay-in. Recovers and gets it back outside for Green. Every time Liz Kelly gets the ball, she is double teamed. But how about that? Wide open. They double team the baseline. But on Baines? 100%. I mean, Baines beat her, though. You got to give that. She beat Maddie Westfeld on the base. Important schedule this year. It's going to be a challenge to get to 20 wins again, but you never know. Loki's team certainly has the talent. Shepard from the corner. Got it. Yeah, of course, walking into these games in this first year, you know it's going to feel a little bit weird. A new normal. Neil Ivy called it with ACC players playing for different schools and yikes. See if Prohaska can overcome the commentator's curse. No! Wow. I'm done for the night, folks. <laughs> you do not get My to comment. My job is done. There's Brunel knocking down the three. And just like that, the Irish on a five-point trip. Got to get the rebound and go in transition to see if they can get something out of it. And there's the high-low look we've been waiting for. Avery, great position to Westbelt, and she gets two inside. <laughs> At Notre Dame. And, you know, I mean, she's been Notre Dame blood through and through. I I think plenty can be taken from what she said, but, you know, she's a competitor. Amor couldn't hit on the drive. Here's Mabry, the former Hokie at the other end. To Walker, beautifully done. Teen in the final quarter of that one, so she can heat up quickly. It's her fifth straight game with a three, but the quick answer from Shepard. 21 to 21, there it is. Perfect. <laughs> It was destiny tonight, not just because Walker made the last three. And, and the destiny starts! Options <laughs> leading three point shooter. Good defense by Shepard, but it finds Walker anyway, and her hot shooting continues. Kelly, she's made seven of her last 11 threes, averaging about 18 points per game. And you know, as she goes, so often do the Hokies. You can say the same for Shepard, though. Asia Shepard with her third triple of the half. Three minutes to go in the half. Walker through the screen from Vaughn, puts it in. Destiny into double figures for the seventh time this season. Appropriately so. Inside, no on the first effort, but on the second, Mickey Vaughn gets it to go. Then you have to get the ball and try to do something with it. She has been phenomenal inside this season. It was Vaughn who picked up her second foul. She's still out there. Walker continues her shooting spree. It's her own fast break, and then has her pocket picked. Destiny Walker has been the star of the quarter. Up and under, no. Mabry got it. I mean, arguably the most important position on a team, right? This is the person that absolutely starts the offense. But there you go, Darrow Mabry, getting yep. some fire, getting excited. Notre Dame, as you can see, on a 17-1 run, and Walker buries another three. Remarkable turnaround, 27% last year, nearly 40% this year. Stepping inside the arc and knocking down the jumper. 
get somebody else inside to go one on one. You're going to have space inside. Traveling called on Brunel at the other end. Here's King. They needed that one. Third on Sam Brunel. Wearing that mask after she got popped in the face a week ago. Kitley, her first bucket of the second half. Let's see. I, I mean, I'm sure it did, but. Not as much. No, it didn't happen as much. Not with the way the transfer portal is now. And Maddie Westfall is showing a little bit more of that three-point specialty that we've been seeing from Notre Dame in this game. Tech and High Point, North Carolina and Maryland. Careless turnover there. And a nice pass up ahead. Mabry connects with Vaughn. Was not very, uh, you know, just did not a lot of output in those first few games. But since then, unbelievable. And there we go, Liz Kitley. They got 91 and 5 in the ACC before going 8 and 10 last year. There's Shepard knocking down the jumper. It's creating a great culture there at Virginia Tech. You know, you got to. His daughters are playing for him. He, you know, it, it's a great family environment. Liz Kitley for three. Here's Walker. King trying to fight through the screen. She stumbled, and the fortuitous bounce finds Peoples. Uh, and, you know, you just got to shake your head at that one. Walker wide open. Offensive rebound, Peoples. Got it. That's actually been a great offense for Notre Dame as of late. It's posting her up inside, letting her go. Shepard off one foot, no, Kitley on the glass, denied by Westfeld. Um, but yeah, anyway, just so much fun reliving those memories. By the way, if you're out there with Kelly's 2001 championship <laughs> ring. They, they have very experienced players on the floor, players that came back that averaged a ton of points, but they've just not been able to get over the hump. Well, Kitley makes it a nine point game. This is their time to attack. Five to shoot for Peoples. Makes a move on Greg. Draws the foul and puts it in. Avery's been having a great game. Obviously, you got Westfeld, but now she's back in. And watch out. Notre Dame is hot. Peoples in a double figures now with 10. Teardrop from Shepard gets it back to a 10-point game. 22 now for Shepard. New Tech has it. Chance to get it back to a single-digit game. You got to you gotta hit a shot here. Shepard carries it. Offensive boards. Cannot believe that that shot did not go in by Ennis, but another chance at it. Shepard through the screen by Greg. All the way to the basket, puts it in. And it's a five-point game. Avery sets up Walker inside the arc. No. Rebound for the Hokies and Shepard. In a two-possession game, Shepard kicks it. King. Down! Virginia Tech needs a bucket quickly. Into Kitley again to Shepard for the school record. Not there. Darren Mabry, the former Hokie, grabs the rebound, and she will get out of Blacksburg with a win over her old team.